All right, most people we know try and find new hobbies when they retire. A man in Portage decided to start baking. So fast forward 23 years later. After he's, retirement. After <laughs> retirement, right? He's still sharing his treats with so many folks all over the community. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brittany yes. Flowers got to enjoy his baking <laughs> skills and find out what inspires him. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. Well, Gordon Willis's family has become very familiar with the smell of chocolate, but they're far from the only people who get to enjoy his sweet treats. Not much compares to the aroma of homemade baked goods. The magic happens when you put one of those pieces in your mouth. This is Gordon Willis, but in Portage... He is known as the fudge guy. Okay. At 92 years old, he might not remember where the recipe came from or even when exactly he started making fudge. As a matter of fact, I don't remember a lot of things that I used to be able to remember. But he does know why he started. I try to... Uh, put fudge where uh, people need to know that they're loved and that they're wanted and that they are serving a real, you know, a real good purpose for us. That includes his church, hospitals, the neighbors, and the Portage Department of um, Public so Safety. For about seven years of my 10, I've worked night shifts, so if I'm lucky enough, there may be a couple pieces of fudge uh, left after day shift is through with it. The support Willis has shown for the police department certainly does not go unnoticed, go. especially for Officer Michael Schumacher. Last time he came in, he had uh, not had his cane and he had mentioned he had lost it. Without hesitation, Schumacher stepped up to help. I went and bought the cane at a local medical facility here and then thought because he's supported us so much, to make it a little special and try to get it a little pizzazz. Well, I tell you, that's not just a cane. If, if I would have been able to, I would have done a jig. But I didn't, I'm not, my feet don't work like they used to. Despite the challenges that come with getting older. I'm just so thankful that I have what capabilities I have today. And although he's witnessed a lot of change over the years, one thing that stays the same is his appreciation for those around him. So Willis will continue doing what Willis does best. I, I hope to continue making fudge right up till the good Lord calls me home. <laughs> now, I did get a chance to try some of his fudge. He How sent some back it? to the station with me. I it didn't, didn't offer... last for <laughs> us to get in and try it. Well, he wouldn't have even tried it because he I'm doesn't like chocolate. I'm not a chocolate, chocolate lover, but... but I still like to meet the gentleman who made it. And, I mean, you got to at least try a bite. That's maybe. fair. Oh. I, can take a, I can take a very small bite. I would take bite. a whole batch <laughs> you know, if I needed to. It was delicious, uh, though, I will tell you that. He seems like he's such a sweet, sweet gentleman. Yeah, he yeah, really is. Thanks, Brittany. Mm -hmm.